Hello everyone, and welcome to Shell Point Today for Monday, January 25th. I'm Adam Brown. On today's show, we will talk about hearing aids with Shelly Rogerson from Belltone Hearing. And Robin Church will discuss hairstyles that you can get right here at the Island Salon and Spa. Also, we'll give you one last look at the flavors of Matt Lachey outing that's taking place on Wednesday. But first, we want to remind you of an academy class that happens tomorrow in the Grand Cypress Room of the Woodlands. Seth Mendel of Teladora will host a presentation entitled Visit Six Russian Cities. This will be a visual follow-up to his previous series, Russia Under the Tsars. Tomorrow's presentation will allow you to visit six Russian cities through a camera's lens and a PowerPoint presentation. From Kievan Glory to St. Basil's Cathedral in Moscow and many places in St. Petersburg, you'll enjoy seeing these pictures on the big screen beginning at 10 a.m. Sign up is required. It's time for a book talk in the afternoon tomorrow as Ruth Duber of Periwinkle will be reviewing two works by young authors. Linda Sue Park's book, A Long Walk to Water, tells the story of two 11-year-olds in Sudan. One walks eight hours a day to fetch water for her family, while the other is searching Africa on foot for family and safety. The book, I Am Malala, tells the story of a young girl's stand for education in Pakistan and being shot by the Taliban. You'll want to be sure and take part in this book talk, which begins at 2.15 in the social center on the island. Following the talk will be a discussion and refreshments. And there's always something worth seeing at the monthly aviation club meeting. This Thursday, the group will gather in the Osprey Room on the island to learn about the hottest topic in aviation right now, and that's drones. Drones are unmanned aircraft that are controlled remotely. Some have cameras on them that take pictures and video. An educator from the Florida Southwestern Collegiate High School and sponsor of their drone academy will be the special guest speaker. He and some of his student team members will talk about their involvement with drones and answer questions about current and future applications of these technological wonders. Following the presentation will be a live drone demonstration out at the Island Beach. The meeting begins at 1.15 in the Osprey Room, Thursday. Okay, so listen up now. It's time to talk about hearing aids. Shelly Rogerson from Belltone Hearing Aids has joined Heather Batty in our studio to talk about the expectations many have with hearing aids, as well as tips to improve your overall success with them. How does one become a successful hearing aid user? Well, listen up as Shelly and Heather give you a preview of this Thursday's Health Connections class. Hi, I'm Heather Batty with Resort Services. Today I'm here to talk about the upcoming Health Connection program, Hearing Aid Expectations. My special guest today is Shelly Rogerson from Belltone Hearing. How are you today? Great, how are you? Good, thank you for coming again to Shell Point. Thanks for having me. So Hearing Aid Expectations, what is that presentation all about? We'll talk about what reasonable expectations with hearing aids are and the adjustment period, you know, when you first get a hearing aid versus over time, how you'll have an adjustment period and then how you'll hear and what to expect in different situations like a quiet room or noisy rooms or restaurants and things like that. What are some of the common things that you come across? Well, the biggest thing is that um, most people don't realize how much they're missing. And so if they have a spouse or someone that can come with them, you know, they kind of sometimes know better how they're hearing than the person alone will know. And so a lot of times people don't realize how bad their hearing loss really is until they come and get it tested. And then once they start wearing a hearing aid, you know, they can say they'll never go without it. But in the beginning, it's, you know, there is a slight time of adjustment that takes some time to get used to. Sure. I'm sure it's probably quite surprising when they realize how much they're actually missing out on. Yeah, the hearing loss comes on so gradually over time, and then you kind of bring it all back on one day, so it kind of makes a big difference those first few days. There probably has to be a lot of adjustment in the hearing aid as far as turning down the volume at first. Well, we usually start off a little bit lower and then kind of work gradually with them over time so that the hearing aid does the work of adjusting so the person doesn't have to do the adjustment period. The hearing aid can kind of do it for you. Okay, and then are there different types of of hearing aids that you would use for different types of hearing loss? Right, yes. All manufacturers make a range of models and styles of hearing aids. So there's different styles that might be better for a more severe loss or for someone who just misses the high frequencies that can really hear but not quite understand Mm -hmm. that, you know, there's different hearing aids for those types of hearing losses. And most hearing aids today are pretty, you know, reasonably 
almost not visible to most people. You're right. They're so small now that you, a lot of times you can't even tell. Um, I know my mom has two, and you know, often I just you know forget that she even has them. Mm -hmm. uh, we always joke with her when she doesn't want to hear us, she'll just take them both out <laughs> and she'll just pretend that she doesn't, you know, she, oh, I can't hear you right now. <laughs> so navigating this hearing loss in this program, do you find that some people are, are a little afraid to go through to get a hearing aids? Yeah, they're kind of uncertain or, you know, unsure what to expect um, in the beginning. So a lot of people, you know, will kind of be uncertain, but we do have a trial period so people can come in and we have the hearing aids. When we test them, we usually have them there to demonstrate so they can see and then they can trial them for a short time before they need to make a decision about purchasing or not. Mm -hmm. So that's a big help to them. Right, right. And then do you find that there are certain <clears throat> brands that you work better for other people or is it pretty much similar across the board? Now the hearing aids are pretty much all adjusted digitally, so the computer oh, yeah. adjusts it to their specific hearing loss. So they're pretty, you know, customized to what type of hearing loss that you have. Mm -hmm. So in this program for the Health Connection, will you actually be doing some testing of the, of the hearing loss or just talking mainly about the hearing aids? We'll be talking about hearing aids, symptoms of hearing loss, um, and what to expect, you know, when you first get hearing aids and what to expect long-term, mm -hmm. things like that, and what other people can do if you, you know, suspect that you have a loss. And then they can go ahead and make an appointment with yourself or... Yeah, I'm at the Arbor on Tuesdays and Thursdays, um, so they can come in and Great. get their hearing tested then in a quiet, more relaxed environment. Perfect. Well, it's definitely going to be an interesting um, presentation, hearing aid expectations, what you can expect when you, you know, get your first hearing aid. If you're interested in this program, it's going to be Thursday, January 28th at the Social Center at 1015. Thank you and stay happy and healthy. You know, the great thing about your hair is if you don't like it or get tired of the way it looks, you can change it. Color it, cut it, curl it, hide it, or style it. Robin Church wants to make you aware of what the Shell Point Salon and Spa can do for you. They are your hairstyle headquarters. From the popular pixie cut to the wavy bob and the different variations of them, Robin is happy to help you with that great new look. Hi, my name is Robin and I'm the salon manager here at Shell Point. And I just wanted to share with you some of the top short hairstyles for 2016. Of course, our pixie cut is forever classic and that can be a clean cut over the ear, or you can go halfway on the ear, or even some wisp coming forward. You can do no bang, or you can do a bang or a half bang, like kind of a sweepy bang, kind of like, kind of like this. Um, you can do it kind of flat, or you can get some volume with some back combing here in the crown, which changes the whole shape. Uh, then we have kind of a wavy bob has become really popular and to um, achieve that usually a loose perm works really well and it's just a soft wave in kind of a classic bob cut with a little bit of layers. Um, then we have an asymmetrical and that can be ex as extreme as you want it to be. One side would be shorter and one side would be down longer. Kind of the classic you see in asymmetrical is to do up over the ear on one side and then it would come right about down here at the chin level on the other side, usually with no bang. Um, then the, the final is our forever classic as well, uh, Bob, which is just a smooth, sleek, one length Bob turning underneath. That is forever classic and we see that every year. So I hope you found that informative and we look forward to seeing you in the salon. Maybe you'd like to discuss a change. Thanks, have a great day, bye-bye. Wednesday, there's an outing that will take you to the edge of Pine Island for an artsy, ecological, and historical adventure at Matt Lachey. There's still time to sign up for this fun outing and here's more information. It's almost time for the Flavors of Matt Lachey Tour. Come along with us for this historical, public art, ecological, and culinary adventure on January 27th. You'll take in the salty history and tastes of this cracker fishing village turned artist colony. Enjoy lunch at the Matt Lachey Old Fish House Marina, 
featuring fresh fish from the Gulf and just across the bridge, delicious fudge from the CW Fudge Factory. Court pickups for the flavors of Mat Lachey Tour begin on the island at 7.45 a.m. with an approximate return time of 2.45. The cost of the trip is $24 with lunch on your own. The flavors of Mat Lachey on January 27th. Be sure to call or sign up at either service desk while there's still time. And now it's time to take a look at today's happenings, academy news, menus, and Village Church Connections, right after this Listening to the Words preview from David Howenstein. Get ready to experience a range of emotions in this week's edition of Listening to the Words. We begin with the story of a man who left an indelible impression before his passing at age 29. At the memorial celebration of his life, a business associate said, I was walking in the park when a commotion caught my eye. A grouping of deer surrounded something that I could not see. I was intrigued, so I moved closer and saw young Wiley in their midst performing meditative Tai Chi exercises. The deer were mesmerized. You'll also hear about the survivors of the Japanese tsunami who transformed broken bits into beautiful objects. And you'll hear a grandpa pleading with his granddaughter to please don a helmet while biking. Join in a Shell Point couple's eye-opening experience with Komodo dragons. They were told that to avoid being becoming prey of these vicious beasts, they should not wear red, but should listen for the sound of the dragon's hiss. David Howenstein encouraging you to turn on listening to the words any half hour of any day or night this Monday through Sunday on Shell Point Channel 12. Welcome to the happening segment of Shell Point TV. I'm Bev Chandley and this is Caitlin Van Scoy and we're going to go over the activities that we offer for you here today at Shell Point. We're going to begin with an 8 o'clock men's match play tennis game down at the Woodlands Tennis Courts. Also at 8 o'clock there's a thrift store donation and bicycle rodeo on the island. At 8.45 we have virtual bowling in the activity center. Billiards will also be at the Resident Activity Center, and that's at 9.15. The Lollygaggers Paddlers will be at the Kayak Storage Facility at 9.15. And our last 9.15 activity is Pottery with Instruction available. That's down in the Pottery Studio on the island. At 10 o'clock, we have Men's Match Play Tennis at the Tennis Courts. And Susie Q Boat heads to Matanzas on the Bay for lunch at 10 o'clock. At 10.30, the Disciple Men's Bible Study Group will be in the game room of the Woodlands. And table tennis with a playing clinic will be at 10.45 down in the Tarpon Room. We have Health Connections class at 11.30. This one is bar, ball edition. That's in the health club. Currently, that's full. And now here's Caitlin to tell you what's going on this afternoon. Thank you, Bev. We start with 12 o'clock Mahjong. That will be in the Woodlands Stable Room. At 1.15, we have Samba, the card game, being played at the Resident Activity Center. Also at 1.15, the Tone Times have their rehearsal in the Osprey Room. And the Model Train Room will be open from 1.30 to 3.30 for complimentary tours and viewing down in the Island Tunnel. At 1.45, we have a Health Connections class, Balance and Mobility for Beginners. That's in the Health Club and currently closed. The BDI Bead Club will be in the Oak Room of the Woodlands at 2 o'clock. Moving to three, we have a Health Connections class, Pilates Stretch, in the Health Club on the island. And the Shell Point Singers Rehearsal will be held in the choir room of the Village Church at 315. At five o'clock, the singles table is available at the Crystal Dining Room. No reservation is required. And at 615, there's a community concert series to Barber B. Mann Theater, leaving from the island at 615, 625 Woodlands, and 635 Eagles Preserve and Estuary. At 6.30, beginner square dancing will be held in the health club on the island. Also at 6.30, duplicate bridge will be in the Woodlands game room. The last money activity is square dancing in the health club, and that is at 7.30. Well, we're so glad you joined us here today. We'll see you right back here tomorrow. Hi, I'm Terry Kolath with your Academy information for Monday. 
At 9 o'clock, we have our all-day AARP Smart Driver course taking place in the Grand Cypress Room of the Woodlands for those who signed up. At 10.15, iPad, What are the Basics? continues in the Manatee Room on the island. At 10.30, we have Anatomy of Words meeting in the Oak Room of the Woodlands, and they welcome all word lovers. At 1.15, the Basic Mac Laptop class continues in the Technology Teaching Center on the island. I'd like to tell you about what's coming tomorrow. Seth Mendel of Teladora will visit six Russian cities. Menus for Monday. In the crystal room, the crystal platter is breaded pork chops with quinoa pilaf and mixed vegetables. The dinner special is Old Home Cooking Night for $13.95. The soup of the day is vegetarian chili. In the Island Cafe for lunch, the special is a chicken tender wrap with onion rings for $7.75. The dinner special is a spinach and shrimp flatbread with a cup of soup for $8.75. And the Palm Grill is closed on Mondays. All menus are available 24 hours a day at www.shellpoint.net. Hello, I'm Karen Chamberlain, and this is my friend and sister in Christ, Eleanor Perkins, and we both are members of the Women's Fellowship Bible Study Committee at Village Church. Mm. Here we are again, Eleanor. Yes, we are. To share with the ladies about our exciting new Bible study beginning in January. Mm. We'll be studying Priscilla Shire's newest Bible study, The Armor of God, based on the book of Ephesians. The study will begin on January 26th, a Tuesday, and meet every Tuesday through March 8th for seven weeks. As in the past, it's a video-based study accompanied by a workbook. The workbooks will be available the week of January 10th through 17th at the church for a cost of $13. The study will meet in the hospitality room as in the past, from 9.30 to 11.15. We will watch the videos first and listen to Priscilla's lectures, and then we will break up into small discussion groups. You know, Eleanor, when we met the other day to talk about this Bible study, we are so excited about it ourselves, yes. and so are our facilitators, and we thought, just how can we get the woman infused with the same enthusiasm? And so I thought maybe you would tell us um, some of the things that um, really impress you about the study, really excite you, and uh, maybe we can talk about them. Good. So far, I have liked everything about the study. Not only is Priscilla, as you know, and all the women that came last year, an excellent Bible teacher, God has truly inspired her to teach this out of the book of Ephesians. It centers on the sixth chapter that talks about the armor of God. But she encourages us in it to read all of the book of Ephesians. And I would encourage every one of you, uh, before you take the Bible study or whether you're going to take it or not, to get into the book of Ephesians. It's one of the most exciting books in Scripture to me. And the first chapter and the sixth, if you don't study all that's in between. They are just packed they are. with information mm -hmm. that we need. The first three chapters of Ephesians, as Priscilla explains in the videos, tells us who we are in Christ. And then the last three tells us what we're to do based on who we are, our position in Christ. And then the part about the armor of God she taught this, and I saw things, and I know you did too, Karen, from us sharing, that I've never thought about in that way before, even in reading over and over again about the armor of God, why we need to be prepared with the full armor of God on us and how we are prepared that God has prepared us for that through His Word and through His teachings, but that we must put it on every day in order to go out into the world. You know, I really um, never thought about these pieces of armor being put on the Roman soldier. And I really liked how she took each piece, um, told how the soldier used it, the purpose, mm -hmm. and then used that analogy to show us what our purpose was with that piece of armor. And um, just, 
you know, I, I know that we're all in spiritual warfare, that we're all having a wrestling match going on in us, even if we don't realize this or want to admit it, we it's are. going on. Yes, and, you know, Satan is pushing our buttons. He knows how to do it. The enemy knows how to do that. He knows our strengths and our weaknesses. And um, Priscilla just, um, I mean, she just teaches it in such uh, a way that you uh, see it, you understand it, and you yes. can remember it, and you can use it. And that's what she wants yeah. you to do. She wants you to be um, very effective in... Uh, your tactics yeah. against the enemy. I think wanting us to be prepared because this armor is so important. And like you said, the analogy between why they wore the armor back. I never thought Jesus, of that. No, I didn't either. But then how that directly relates to why we need the armor exactly. of God mm -hmm. on us for the same protection, but from it's a spiritual enemy that we fight all the time. But look at the TV. Look at what's going on in the world. Our world is in spiritual warfare. And we as Christians are in that warfare. And God wants us to be ready, to be prepared, because it's coming. It's coming more and more. It's been coming our whole life. But it's, it seems to be so much broader now that we're just faced with it every day when we watch the news with things that are happening that we never thought we would see happen like what just happened in Paris. It's just beyond our comprehension. But Satan is very good at his job. And he works at it. And we as believers need to be God's standard, to be prepared, to put on His armor, to be there. Because the victory for us has been won. Jesus has already done all that needs to be done. We have everything in Christ. And that's what Ephesians 1, and I encourage you ladies to read it, tells you who you are in Christ, in Him and that we have the power and the truth and the victory that we need to be overcomers in this world and to draw other people so that they can have the confidence in Christ and know that they are loved and that Jesus died for them. And so it's just, it's an exciting study. It's an exciting book. She presents it in a way like I've never heard before and I, I am just so excited about doing it and, and being together with other women for us to do it together, to grow stronger in the Lord together as women of, of God. Yes, and I hope that many of you uh, will consider coming to the study mm -hmm. because it's going to be something that you're, not, you're going to just learn things that you've never yes. learned before, see them a new way, and you're going to really be prepared um, differently, perhaps, than you've been prepared before. Um, we all can benefit from this because we are so vulnerable to the tactics of the enemy. And he knows our weaknesses and strengths. Amen. And boy, he knows exactly what strategies to use against each of us. He knows which buttons to push. We need to be ready with our own strategic plan to defeat him. We plan to come and join us on January 26th and find out how you can succeed in your spiritual warfare. We hope to see you then. Thanks for joining us on today's program. Tomorrow we'll get a preview of Adrian Kerr's Academy class on the lost world of Atlantis. And Meg Singer will talk with Terry Kolath about recruiting help for the Island Computer Center. This has been Shell Point Today for Monday, January 25th. I'm Adam Brown wishing everyone watching a wonderful rest of the day and we'll see you again tomorrow.